Good morning, grandkids. Um, first of all, <clears throat> oh, this is my morning voice. I'm sorry. You can watch me drink coffee and wake up. Good stuff. Um, first of all, let me say that I had wanted to get this vlog up uh, at my usual time this morning when I usually have my videos uploaded. I almost practically promised my friend Black Panther that I would have one this morning, but I just didn't get to make it. I was going to make it after the uh, live stream yesterday, but I was absolutely exhausted, starving. I had to go fix me a light something to eat and then go to bed. <laughs> so I'm trying to get it done this morning so that I can hurry up and get through with it and upload it so it'll be up sometime Sunday morning. Uh, first of all, let me show you. You notice I cleaned up my couch back there. It was a mess in all of my vlogs. But I cleaned that up and I took away the trunk coffee table that was in front of it, which was full of all my unfinished quilt tops. And I drug that into the bedroom. So now it looks much cleaner and uh, more room. So I'm happy. I've cleaned my living room. I've cleaned my kitchen except for mopping the floor. I've vacuumed the living room, hall, and bedroom. So um, I've been busy in the last few days. Anyway, this is a mail opening and gift opening vlog today. And I want to say that everybody that showed up for the live stream, thank you so much. It was all so much fun. I enjoyed it so much even though I was a nervous wreck to begin with from the technology standpoint. And then when we went over to uh, Discord for live stream with the patrons, uh, my video, of course, didn't work. It doesn't ever work when we go to uh, D Discord Ninja. And uh, I know how to fix it when I get back to doing vlogs. I have to reset my camera but over there when it won't show up I don't know what to do uh, the first time that happened my son quickly got on there and fixed it it only took him a couple of minutes but I don't know what he did so I couldn't fix it um, he did have me take notes for how to refix my uh, OBS studio getting the camera to work again for these vlogs and I know how to do that, which I had to do this time before I started this, but I don't know how to fix it over there in uh, OBS Ninja. So in Discord, there was no live video, but I got to talk live to them and a lot of them turned their cameras on. So I got to see the people and it was so exciting. I loved that. Um, by the time I do that again, I will have talked with my son and he can give me notes on how to fix it there so that my camera works there. Okay, let's jump into this and see if I can get this done in a reasonable length of time. First of all, I want to show you this. Joseph Russell is the modder who made Lucian, the mod and follower in Skyrim. And uh, I went to his website and purchased this book of his that he wrote. I haven't gotten to read it yet, but I can hardly wait. It's a fantasy novel. And and I have talked to him so much in Discord. He's helped me so much when I was playing uh, the little mage I played for a while so that I could show off the house the modders made for my character that they're making in for Skyrim SC to live in. And for whoever plays the game and gets me as a follower can live there also and work that stuff in there. And uh, so he's helped me a lot. And we've talked a lot on Discord. But when I when I watch him do his live streams and stuff, I was so surprised because he is so young and he's so cute and I love his voice. It's just like Lucian. <laughs> so I bought his book and I can't wait to start reading it. Now, let me see. The first piece of mail 
is this lovely card. This is from Lexi. Thank you so much. It says, Hi Grandma, I am a master's student studying in the UK in the town of Brighton. I have been enjoying your videos when I take breaks from writing my dissertation. Thank you, Le Lexi. Well, thank you so much, and it's a very beautiful card. Okay. And this is a letter from Quentin Roy in uh, London, Ontario. Hi, <laughs> Grandmaster, Grandmother, my goodness. <laughs> I hope you are safe and well. I enjoy your videos a lot. They make me happy. From me and my family, so they say hello to you from Canada, London, Ontario. Stay safe during these times. Love your internet, love from your internet grandson, QR. <laughs> Thank you so much. I love to get mail. And here's another lovely card. Shenandoah Valley. Hello, Internet Grandma. I have been enjoying your Skyrim adventures more since we have been stuck at home due to the pandemic. I hope you and your family are staying healthy. And this is from Aaron. Thank you so much, Aaron. And I, whoop. Love, love the card. That's very pretty. This is from Roman Lazarus. I'm not sure. This is from Russia, and I don't know how to pronounce your last name. But this is the most beautiful printing. And he wrote it on... Uh, parchment looking paper which everybody knows I love and I want you to look at the artwork on here I don't know if this paper was already printed with this uh, side border it's on the front and the back but this color shows through here <clears throat> so I wonder if you drew that and call it. it's it's so good or and also if this was like a <coughs> uh, printed on there but you colored it so let me know I'm I really like you know I love that snake on there <coughs> dear in this printing look at this printing my goodness you can tell this young man cares about his handwriting Dear Shirley, I am glad to write to you after such a long time. I sent my first letter to you after this Christmas. Your New Year's blog was great. I really liked the Stella Luna book. I felt the spirit of the New Year even weeks after it. This year you had many interesting short stories and I liked them all. Each and every one of them has special story and background behind it. I I do that with each of my new series. I think it is very important to have it. It turns normal playthrough into writing a story as you go. Yes, that was the idea. This year there was an addition to the collection of Shirley After Midnight, The Land of Pain. I loved that. It was great. I was left speechless. I never liked horror games, but this game is an exception so spooky and beautiful at the same time I'm glad you liked it I, I think uh, Alessandro Gusso the developer he's a lone developer of that game did such a great job the atmosphere is what made the whole thing for me it's not a stupid bunch of hallways that you walk down 
around corners and back and forth and all mixed up and litter all over the floor everywhere every room you go in for no reason at all and just stupid stuff like that that's not horror to me but Mr. Gusso and he's young too and cute <laughs> maybe in my old age I notice things like that and uh, he does such a great job with atmosphere so I can hardly wait for his new game to come out early in next year uh, I really love your realistic look at everything when that glowing sphere appeared you said touch it no way that's exactly what a normal person would say I am hanging out I am yeah hanging out for the second game alien cube to play it with you that's the new one that'll be coming out this year I finally started working on my book good I remember on one of your vlogs you told somebody about writing that she should make <coughs> writing I told her that she should write and write and write and write you can't just because you want to write just sit down and write good and write a book you have to really practice at your craft uh, for that you were talking to the camera and I felt that you were talking to me from that moment I felt that I wanted to write my own stories that's so good I love it when I influence somebody like that the hardest thing in writing is getting started <clears throat> Yes, uh, I before I make up a story for Skyrim, I'm usually sitting around for days and laying in bed at night for nights thinking some idea pops into my head for a story and then I just think it and think it and think it and come up with all kinds of bits and pieces and parts that I want in the story. And uh, I jot down notes and stuff and when it all comes together in my head, then I, rem I make the big beginning video, which is the character talking, reminiscing, uh, thinking out loud, so that you get to know her personality, the reasons for what she's going to be doing in the story, and stuff like that. So that's my first step, the thinking process, and then that introductory video of the character. And then from there, it's just all in my head and it just all comes out my mouth. If I was writing, it would just all be coming out on the paper. And he says, getting started is the hard part, to force yourself to sit and write. Yeah, and that's what I don't want to do. That's why I tell stories in Skyrim, because I just don't have the patience or the fortitude to just sit and write and write and write, which you really have to do to learn your craft. But then ideas just flow from your head, that's true. The good thing of creating stories on the paper is that you have no limitations, no rules. Yes, it's much better. I suppose it is very annoying for you when someone in Skyrim calls you Dragonborn when you are not. Yeah, usually my stories don't revolve around being Dragonborn, but everybody, the NPCs in the game, assume that I'm dragon born. <laughs> or they get to you with their stupid <laughs> dialogues <laughs> all the time. <laughs> but sometimes there are some things we can do nothing about. That's true. I'm just grateful for such a beautiful platform as Skyrim to play out my stories. By the way, I think modders did a great work on your house in Skyrim. Oh, God, I think so, too. I love that there are so many personal things. Cadiment's memorial is so beautiful. It is great that we can see from where it all started. Yeah, I thought those were great touches that they put into that house. I'll be so glad when they're finished with my character. That's for Skyrim SE, not the one in the future 
ES6. There are some questions I wanted to ask you. What do you think makes horror game really scary? I, I, I think I mentioned that just a bit ago. It's the atmosphere more than anything else to me. And if something is really creepy, scary, then that's good. Just jump scares to be jump scares, all that does is make you startled. It's not horror. So atmosphere and honest to God, something scary. <laughs> oh. And how do you come up with backstories and names for your characters? For me, names are so hard to come up with. Well, the backstories I come up with because of some idea just pops into my head. And then I have to think a lot about it to really get it building into a story in my head. And I have to jot down lots of notes and until it all comes together. And then I don't need the notes. I just open my mouth and play and talk as the character. Not in a character's voice. I just can't do that. My son once told me, you still sound like Grandma. <laughs> so I don't even try. And as far as names for my characters, um, I just go through the alphabet. And with each letter, I start saying different names or making up different sounding names, especially for Khajiit. You can just make up any kind of name for Khajiit until one strikes my fancy and that's what I go with. Next time I will try to write to you sooner and not to be late for Christmas. You can write to me anytime. I love reading your letters because you mention so many things that let me know that you actually watch my videos and actually get something out of them, which I appreciate very much. As always, uh, ready to go on new adventures with you in Skyrim. Always yours, Roman. Thank you so much, Roman. A beautiful letter, beautiful printing, beautiful content. Thank you very much. I'm looking forward to the next one. This little package, I absolutely don't know who it's from because this is the way I got it. And up where the return address is, it's from China. That's the only thing I know. It was shipped from Yanni Road road elephant and I don't know the name of the village or the street or the district <laughs> but it's from China but there's nobody's name on there nowhere I've looked all over it and there was no note inside there was there was this wonderful Skyrim necklace. And I thank you very much. Whoever sent this, I wish you'd let me know. I would really like to know who sent it, but I do appreciate it very much. I shall be wearing it sometimes in my vlogs. <laughs> in this package, This is a video game for Robocop. I love that movie. The remake, or not the remake, the sequel afterwards when they made Robocop 2. 
I didn't like that one as well because I had already imagined all kinds of things that was going to take place. It left it so open-ended at the end of the first movie. I just knew what was going to be happening. It didn't happen that way at all, and I was so disappointed. <laughs> but I think this one, this is the game, Robocop, and, uh, and it's on DVDs, I guess. I haven't played a game on a DVD in, oh God, years. So, I might get a chance to try that out. I don't know. And, likewise, there is no note in this one. I can't see, the, this print on here is so absolutely tiny I can't even read it, but I don't see anything that looks like a name of where it came from. So also I don't know who sent this, so if you'd let me know, I could say something about it and tell you how much I appreciate it. Now this came from Shelly O'Brien, she was in my live chat too. And I thank you so much. I have already gotten into this. I couldn't help it. This is more chocolates that she sent me. If you remember one of my other vlogs, she sent me these kind of chocolates. And uh, they're different flavors of chocolates, like Toffee and almond crunch chocolates, and uh, hey, this everybody knows by now. I'm supposed to have just cho dark chocolate. I'm not supposed to have other kinds of chocolate. This one says 80% dark chocolate. <laughs> this one says raspberries and dark chocolate. So, so I've got a bag full. I'm going to put them out on a dish in a little bowl, glass bowl I have, like I did the others, and set them right there on my desk. And this is her, her note. Dear Grandma Shirley, I wanted to make sure that you got some chocolate for Halloween. Thank you. It's just like going trick-or-treating. I really enjoyed Uger the Seeker. Did you? I'm glad. I just hurried up and finished with him because I wanted to get on to something else because <laughs> I got bored. I love that they have real lives and personalities. I try to do that. I am looking forward to all the books you will be reading on Halloween. I hope you like the ones I picked out and read. Granny Sheryl's bookshelf is a favorite of mine. Take care of yourself and get lots of rest. You make my life better. Looking forward to your daily Twitter posts and your YouTube series. Happy Halloween and lots of love. Shelley O'Brien. Thank you. Thank you. And look, she drew, she drew me some cute pumpkins. <laughs> thank you, Shelley. And thank you for being there in the chat. The live stream, my first live stream. And this is the card she sent. That was my son. He'll have to call back later. Dear Grandma Shirley, it's the perfect time to celebrate amazing people like you. Have a wonderful and happy Halloween. Love, Shelley O'Brien. That's so pretty. And it's pretty inside, too. Thank you, Shelly, so much. I shall be having one of those chocolates today, now that I got to show the vlog. I've already, I've already had some.
And this is a book that someone sent me. It's called The Eye of My Heart. I think it's a compilation of stories about grandmothers. 20, yeah, 27 writers reveal the hidden pleasures and perils of being a grandmother. I haven't gotten to check this out yet either. Eye of My Heart. That's a cool title, isn't it? This is from the Blauner Books Literary Agency in New York. Dear Miss Curry, I marvel at what I have been reading about you. As a small token of my admiration, here is a copy of a book that I hope you will enjoy with my compliments and all good wishes. Warmly, Andrew. And Andrew, this agency has Andrew Langer's name on it, so I guess it's one of their books. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. I, I can't wait to get into some of it and read some of the little stories about grandmothers. And here is the last one, and then hopefully my son will wait long enough for me to do this. This is from Corey and David. Corey is, is the young man that sent me... Uh, so many gifts last year around Christmas time and after. Look, isn't this pretty? This was for Halloween, and uh, I haven't heard from him for quite a while. But he told me he wasn't on Twitter anymore, so I'm going to have to try to contact him. Well, he sent me his phone number. so. And I appreciate this so much, Corey. And I have been dying to get into this, but I haven't because these are Halloween cookies. Each one is individually wrapped, and I wanted to show each one to you guys because they are so cool. Look at this. A witch's hat with a with her broomstick leaning up against the hat. These are so cute. I almost hate to eat them. <laughs> then I won't have them. And a pumpkin. Corey, I just think this is so great. I've never seen anything like that. Um, I appreciate this very, very much, Corey and David. And I will get in touch with you. I promise. If you don't have any other way to get in touch with me, unless you, you can send me an email, even if you're not on Twitter. You used to have my email, I think. So, all right, guys, I better get off of here so that my son can reach me. He always calls me on Sundays, and uh, but it's usually in the evening. Uh, so I will talk to you all later. 
thank you all that was there in the chat yesterday uh, in the live stream on the Grand Dame channel and uh, and those patrons that was over on Discord when I went over there it was such fun to see all of you on camera and I enjoyed that very much but it was it was made me so anxious and nervous and it almost made me sick in my stomach before it started after it got started I was fine um, and I enjoyed it so much so we'll have to do that again sometime so thank you all I appreciate all of you I I don't tell my subscribers uh, often I, I don't think of it when I'm doing a video but I appreciate you all my grandkids so much and I love you all I care about what you think and how you react and when you act really talk to me like leave me a comment of a few sentences so that I know that you really watched the video I always appreciate those comments the most <laughs> so I will say bye for now and get off here so I can talk to my son I'll talk to you later bye bye